Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use manual mode on your Nikon DSLR to get the best possible video footage for your edits. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear I get for filmmaking. If I learn something new in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'm definitely gonna make a tutorial about it. And if I have any DIY projects around the house, usually assembling Ikea furniture, I'll film those and put them on the channel too. And whenever I go someplace cool, I'm definitely gonna film a vlog about it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. So today I'm going to show you how to use the manual mode on your Nikon DSLR so that you can record the best possible video to use in your edits. So the first thing you want to do on the top of your DSLR is switch this over to M. Okay, so you see this here, you want to put that at M. So that is manual mode. So once you've selected manual mode on the top of your camera, the next step is to go into the menu. So you wanna to head to the back of the camera, press the menu button, and head into the shooting menu. Once you're inside the shooting menu, you wanna go all the way to the bottom to movie settings. Click on movie settings and make sure that manual movie settings is turned on. Once manual movie settings is on, you're gonna have a lot more options. The second thing you wanna do is adjust your microphone quality. If you do have an external mic, you'll often wanna set this to manual testing with your microphone. The next setting you want is the movie quality, and obviously you want it set to the highest possible quality, so we're gonna set that to high. And then the last setting you have is your frame rate. So I particularly like to film my videos at 24p and the Nikon cameras give you that option. So I am choosing the 1920 by 1080 by 24p. That's going to give you a more cinematic type of feel to your videos. Frame rates alone is a whole other video in itself. And I will probably put a video like that on the channel at some point in the future too. So now that we're on the topic of frame rates, this directly relates to the next setting. So if you decided to choose 60 frame rates, you wanna set your shutter speed to 120. In my case, I selected 24 and the closest shutter speed I can get is 50. So I'm going to set my shutter speed to 50. Now that you've made your shutter speed adjustment, the next adjustment you need to make is an aperture adjustment. If you do a lot of filming outdoors, you might actually need to get yourself an ND filter because your shutter speed is so low in a lot of cases, it's letting in a lot of light. So bright, bright scenes might be too much for the camera at such a low shutter speed. So you're gonna wanna probably grab yourself a variable ND filter. Set your aperture to allow as much light in as you want or as little light in as you want. And then once you've accomplished that, you can play around with your ISO. So that is the last setting that I set is my ISO. You see on the Nikon cameras here at the bottom, you have a nice little line. That's basically like a histogram or it is a histogram. And what I do is try to get the line as close to the middle as possible. And then I know I'm gonna get a decently balanced image. So I'm generally not a fan of auto white balance. So I like to adjust the white balance based on the lighting conditions. So in this room here, I have my white balance set to a fluorescent light. And if I was outside, I would have my white balance set to sunshine or direct sunlight. And that definitely helps the camera figure out what colors that it's gonna give you. And it's a lot less editing that you have to do later in post. So just by changing up a few simple settings in your Nikon DSLR, you too can start to shoot better video using manual mode. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.